Hey guys, Jack here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we'll, we will be revisiting my Gantry 56X, the Jack Huber Angstrom Gantry 56X. Now, I'm planning on making this a series called Old Main Throwbacks, probably. So it'd be so I don't know when I so like for some for some random reason I feel like revisiting Old Main of mine. Yeah, we'll make I'll make a video on it, and then. We'll do an average of five, and I'll have a voiceover talking about the cube. Now, the cube we'll be revisiting today, as I already said, the Jack Kubrick Angstrom Gantry 56X. Now, this cube is still good after like two years after being released. This cube is still good. Honestly, it's a Gantry cube that probably no one can replace. Now, that depends if you like the XV2 more or the XS more. But yeah, who am I to blame you for liking the new ones better? I want the X XS for my birthday a lot because I feel like it's the GAN cube that is like a MoYu crossover. If only MoYu and GAN made a crossover cube, I, I'd, like, I'd, I'd so buy it or like pre-order it straight off the bat. Anyways, now I'm comparing it to my main DR stream 2020, but the video is all about this cube. For this video, but probably all the other videos will be on my R stream 2020. Now, yeah. Enough with the intro that took me an, a minute and a half. Let's get right to the average, shall we? Okay, hello guys. Welcome to the voiceover section with a cool 12 point something average of 5. Now, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, the average was a 12.79. So yeah, I had a lot of failed attempts before this. Like that, like the video was like my third time recording, and it'll take me around three minutes and 24 seconds of talking about the Ganex. Now the Ganex, the Ganex. What can I say about it? Now this, the cube, as I said in the intro, it still feels so nice. Even after a year of breaking in, like, like, some, like, it's good as, like, 5,000 solves done to it. Honestly, it's one of the most well broken in and one of the most solved cubes I have used. So, yeah. Anyways, I have to review a bit of footage. Because I have no idea if... Oh wait. Yep. Yeah, okay. Anyways, I just had to double check if 1132 was the first solve since I got a 13. I wasn't able to identify correctly. I didn't do it in a separate session. I didn't my default 3x3 session. But anyways, yeah. There was a, I had a lot of moments with the GANX when I got my first sub-13 average of 100 with the GANX in MSO, day one of MSO 2020. MSO, hi MSO gang, it's me again when MSO 2021 or 2020 comes around. Anyways, and then we have, yeah, I got my first, I got my first sub 12, average of 12, and my first sub 11, average of 5, and my 8.61 on cam PB single. So. I just want to talk about how these, if how these PBs are still standing. Only one of them are standing right now. That's my average of 100, which is a 12.4 something, 12.48 if I'm not wrong. But yeah, it was a 12.48 that's still standing today. But I did beat my PB single average of five, and I tied my average of 12 PB with the 1171. When I was like cubing, waiting for science class to start. Anyways, yeah, that's like one of the other stories I have about the cube. Other than that, oh, uh, what else can I say? Honestly, like Gen cubes. If you ask me, Gen cubes have like a mixed reputation with me. Like I, I like their feel a lot, but when I do solves on them. Like, my averages are just bad, but it seems that this time, like, during MSO and stuff, 
my average is really good, and I was really enjoying a Gan Cube, as if I was I wasn't liking the Gan Cube because I had great technologies. Anyways, you can still buy the X, but I best recommend the X V2, and that's all for me. See you guys, and stay safe. Goodbye.